Chapia. They are reading our chieftain and one of guests. While they're in position, we'll then introduce you to each and every one of them very briefly, but during the day, we'll tell you more about them. A very colorful sight with all the flags of their various nations. At the far end of the line, next to the champion representing Scotland and the world hammer throwing record holder and world champion of 2004, Bruce Aker from Hawkins Way. <laughs> representing the United States of America, the current holder of the American Championship from Eastern uh, Pennsylvania, Harrison Bailey III. representing America several times in the top ranking with men. He's been second several times in the world champion. He's an attorney with a very impressive record of wins from New York, Dave Bowden. Yet another from the United States. He's six foot five and weighs 20 stone, 10 pounds, full of muscle. And usually again, he's first in the top three nearly every time. From Omaha, Nebraska, Sean Bates. <laughs> now a young American, the youngest American, he's six foot three and twenty stone five, so he's a big lad. He's the current world hammer throwing champion from Charlotte, North Carolina, Larry Brock. <laughs> All the way from the Ukraine, an Olympic competitor, not only once but twice. He represented his country in the Olympics in Sydney and Atlanta, multi-title holder in shot and discus, and also had a from Kiev, Kilo Shoprina. Bigger with growing popularity, you see a picture as you come into the International Airport in Scotland, representing Scotland. The current Scottish champion, record holder, and a finalist in the television, one strongest fan competition, Gregor Edwards. From Canada, the current champion, three times Canadian champion, the new kid on the block, all the way from Antigonish, Nova Scotia, Greg Hadley. Representing England, we have another Olympian. He is also the British and English. He's won shot put championships for his country and also appeared in the Olympic Games. Ladies and gentlemen, from London, Scott Ryder. Another great Scott. He's been four times shot put champion, four times discus champion of Scotland, and he's fast improving in higher games. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Strong. If your name starts with Z, you're almost sure to be the last man to be introduced. So he's nearly last again today, but not last in the program, I'm sure. But he is representing the Netherlands, and he's one of the most popular personalities at the Games. He's currently the world champion in throwing the weight for height. Five times a champion of his country from Friesland, Bob Zilstra. Next to him, we have Steve Conway, all the way from America, who is one of the judges in the competition today. A very good man from California. He's refereed many world championships. And at the far end, I see Bob Ritchie, all the way from, uh, I think it's Newton Moore he comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one man I haven't introduced yet. He's got Portuguese origins, Brazilian origin, but he's living in sunny California. Representing the United States of America, the current world champion of record holder and five times champion of the world. From California, the great Brian Beer. He 
is very the John Paul champion Sash. This is a Sash which is passed on from games to games. He's coming here defending his championship. He's also covering the champion sword and shield. At the end of the day, the leader, whoever it is, will get that Sash to carry on tomorrow. And in my world tomorrow, we have a new Sash to present to the world champion in the evening after tomorrow's game. But meantime, we've got to get the, the world championship open in traditional style with a ceremony that goes back to the 11th century when King Malcolm Canmore organized a hill race at Bray Mar. It was a hill race to find a Gilly Ruth running footman, a courier, and they had to run up Craig Cornick behind Bray Mar because Malcolm Canmore, the king, had a hunting lodge there and there was a Highland Games organized at that time. And he didn't have a starting gun, so he beat his sword and the shield. And we're going to ask for him to bring forward the sword and shield to our chieftain today. David Sutherland is going to beat the sword to north, south, east and west, not necessarily in that order. And then, here we go. And he's going to beat the sword on the shield. Oh, don't take his hand off. Oh, no, let me do it. That's right. He's making a hold that he wants to use that hand again for putting. standing putt, he's allowed to reverse but he must throw from a standing position. Ah! And that's just up alongside the record. That's a very athletic man. Yeah. That's his stuff. You can do that all the time if you want, you know. 
Ukraine. And that is the freedom of the Ukraine. Here comes a really big fight. Come on. Huge fight. Very muscular. Congratulations.
Okshay, Kirillo. Kirillo in the first place at the moment, but he'll want to go ahead a bit further. Certainly, he's ahead of the best ever done in the left before. I think three men are better. Oh, oh, can you do it? Yes, he's still kept behind. Now that again is a difficult one to judge. Have broken the record here at Inverness. So that's a very good start to the day. Bruce Rock. He's one of them, and that looks another good one for Bruce. He noted photographers. We've got Lynn Holland Richardson from Canada, and we also have the Randy Strauss from California, the owner and editor of Milo magazine.
because we've already won the competition and we'll give you measurements in a few minutes time. This is 130, 140, uh, I hope. If we have the record for the games, we'd be very much appreciated. Ladies, short. This year we'll talk. Sure. That's some throw for us. Oh! Yes, Joe. 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 Another lovely throw from Sean Betts this time. Right, Hardy, who's throwing now is the Canadian champion and record holder in this event. Throwing the 60 feet front hammer. So, he's going to take the That's a good shot. And 12 27 as we move to the second round. And there are four throws each. Well, well, Julie Dunkley just been mentioned at the uh, ladies' events and that my fiance Scott Ryder preparing to throw the hammer now. Scott. A great pair. Scott Ryder. This is a, a great event for him because he holds the world record in it. Look at that! Wow! He holds the world championship record with over 150 feet. Can he beat Bruce? That's a big question. Go on, Bout. Here comes Bout Zilstra. Big Bout. I've got to say he's from the Netherlands because he doesn't like saying he's from Holland. That's like saying Scotland's in England to say him. Looks a very relaxed throw there. I think he's probably intending to keep a bigger one for his next one. Throws are well spread out. Steve Barn is throwing now and he's right up there. He goes into third place with that throw. 50 feet. And with the 60 pound shot. Greg Dawson Allen is storytelling the children's village at 313. Well worth listening to. And of course we've got the Steve Strook at 3 o'clock again.
river. <laughs> He's throwing very well today. I think we'll see something really good from this man in this good. hammer throwing competition. Good throw from Max McDonald then, over 14 feet. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's well up now. He's pulled up about uh, three minutes into that throw. Oh! Uh, that slipped out of his hand there. You might have noticed the heavies rubbing their hands on the top of the hammer shaft. 
Scott Ryder throwing now. Delighted to see on the field taking photographs just now, Randy Struss of Milo Magazine in America. Milo Magazine gives more publicity to Highland Games than any Scottish publication. He's got regular calls, he's got how to do his articles, he reports all the main events, and we're very, very pleased with the way he's promoted Highland Games America. Great magazine. Come on, give us a bigger one now, Bruce, to finish with. He's number seven across here. It's the one that's out in front. Ah, and he's done more. Well done. A good, great finish for Bruce Aiken. We still remember all you Keeley goers. Bergie McDonald tonight, just about six. In the big marquee, a long, long marquee, just over from the second stand. Longest marquee in the place today. Big Keeley there. Bar, lots of entertainment. And what's more, it's three.
approach here is extended to 9 feet. And keeping both feet in, and he sometimes have
second Come on, Gregor. Gregor Edmonds is just behind that. And in third place, we have equal Larry Brock. I think there's another one in between them. And Shabrin and are both equal.
go, Grif. Shorter distance champion of the Ukraine is going down. A massive man. If you get close up to him, you'll appreciate just the size of him. He nearly went over the train, but he's won many Scottish championships for Lisa Selton and also in the discus team. That's I think ahead of Ryan. If you are on the spear.
Bruce. Oh, 
Larson merely three. Last attempt. Happy for today. Very happy. Uh, I didn't suck too bad, so you know, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, That's second in a couple of events. Feeling like crap, so all in all, all in all. all. Tomorrow, a new day. Tomorrow, we will new start. War on Gregor Edmonds and all the other Scots and Americans and Canadians and Ukrainians and all those other people, English people. They will go down. We're waiting forward to see it. Thanks. This much more than that. I think, is that right? Yeah, half an inch further. That looks like Bruce Rob. That's the floor. Happy for today? Very happy. Uh, I didn't suck too bad, so you know. Yeah. It is what it is. That's Second fine. in a couple of events. Feeling like crap, so all in all, hell. Oh, oh, no. Tomorrow, a new day. Tomorrow, we will. New start. War on Gregor Edmonds and all the <laughs> other Scots and Americans and Canadians and Mike. Ukrainians and all those other people, English people, they will go down. We're waiting forward to see it. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Finish for so and well over there. Right. Okay. John McLaughlin from the Right. Tradition in the country of Sutherland for tours. No! I'll throw. He stepped over the mark there, so very happy. This is the first throw. Enjoy, guys.
done with a normally sledgehammer, the thick handle sledgehammer of a yard high and with a big square head on it. And it was called on the posters and programs drawing the sledgehammer. And it wasn't until the end of Victorian times, around about 1760, not quite the end of Victorian era, that they introduced the longer wooden handle, which has been ever since. to a tent which is over to the left of the sand as you are facing oh. the sand is a tattoo tent <coughs> you buy your tickets to the tattoo Come on, Larry. sorry for putting the HMP but you buy them here today for next Wednesday oh, Thursday Friday possibly Saturday 
very, very close to winning the last time. I think near enough to the back of the city, the Australian group, you see a man in the top of the just to warm up. Fantastic show, so please go and see that at 3 o'clock if you can. See, Harrison does a lot of this. This is visualization. Before he does his throw, you'll see it in many different throws, but particularly with Harrison, he visualizes just exactly what he's got to do. Probably have a thought sequence, the sequence of thought, what I've got to concentrate on, and so on. That's good. Under 20 weight for height continues to pace at the height is 11 feet. The weight of the implement. Yes, that looks up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure it is, but I think it's worth it now. 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 I think it's Chicago, 
and the two of them changed and muddled it. But Richie Airways didn't manage to do it with two hours of the Chicago Bulls. This is 
Chris Randalls. Oh, lucky Chris. Round, round of applause for Chris there, and we have one competitor remaining our winner. It's Mark Dry. Oh, that's good. He didn't like the look of that bit. Arm next. This is Mark Dry then, and 18 feet is the height. Right, Mark, let's see if you can make it. This is Mark Dry on his second attempt. Army, Army kill. You missed one, yeah? Uh, some movie, I don't know. Game is a bit nice. Send me a record for some of you. Okay. Sure. Yeah. One movie, yeah, yeah. Yes! Well done, Eugene. Hilo Shoprihan of Kiev, Ukraine. Good throw for Hilo Shoprihan. Very nice throw from young Bruce Rob. He's right up there with the two three. There's only about two and a half inches between the three throws uh, out there together with uh, Kilo, Bruce Robb and Ryan Bierre. Very fast. Oh, there it is. Oh. So near yet, so far, still one attempt left. Larry Brock. Don't know what he was saying. That throw of Larry Brock there is very close to the leaders. The faintly drawn white line is not indicative of anything. Oh, and Sean Pence has got it. And they're all there in line. There's not inches. But Mr. George Murray, have you paid to get in? Mr. George Murray? That'll be the first thing. Here comes Greg Hadley from Antigonish in Nova Scotia. Oh, you're on duty, George. Oh, oh sorry, George. No! That's the first thing in many years you've been on duty on a Sunday. <laughs> Can we have the under 25s for the Scots Hammer, please? Under 25 for the Zoom. Moving across there now, there's not a big number of under 25s. Can you chassis across to the shop, Scots Hammer? That's a good throw, I think. There's an optical illusion created. Crowd standing there, congregate here. This must be a tug of war going on. <laughs> Ryan Vieira. As you can see, the yellow flag there, he's one right in the thick of all the, the main throws. But number three at the side, Larry Brock, is in the lead. Oh, he's well up, I think. It's, uh, I keep on saying I think now because... I that inch or two is going to make a difference. 
But looking at it from here, it seems to be a big increase, but it's actually only an inch or two. Bob Zilstra. He won the, him and his partner won the World Strongman Pierce Championship. And he was also second in the world. Second in the world when he competed in Morocco against Yoko Ahola from Finland was Come on Dave. Let's see you beat this and then we might tempt you to do a cartwheel. Why not? Good throw. Excellent throw. No cartwheel. Gregor Edmonds, come on Gregor, important throw for you. Big day barn, big day. It's allowed to score, but here that won't happen. Well done. Looked very easy. Okay. Uh, Jerry has got a 56 pound weight at the side just so that you can test and feel what this feels like to see if you could throw it over your head or even throw it past your shoulder. Top pound hammer a few moments ago is first to go. Just to remind you, he also won the weight for height earlier in the day. So he's having a good day. This is Mark Dry with his 28 pound weight for distance. An old throw for Mark Dry. Now in the under 20s. Scott Ryder is throwing the 56 for height. A good throw, it counts. Very nice. Fantastic. She and Scott are engaged to be married, so it's really a, a marriage of souls there. Oh, good and easy for Bruce Rock. Rock 71 for Dale Walker. Harrison Bailey. This is different from the other events where they had only had three throws each. Here it's three throws at each height. Down the same side every time. That, come on, you can do it. World Championship. Come on, that's it. Great stuff. Up, 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 up. And he's made it. So oh, thank goodness for that. Thank you. Come on, Bruce. Bruce Aiken. Yes, he made it easy. He comes from Walking Bay, as I said earlier. That's just not very far from St. Haven. Yes, he made it. 
are, you know, well, let's keep it out of sight. As go. Come on, Bruce Rock. Yep, easy. But a great camaraderie amongst these men. And I think that it's it. Good it folks. Here he comes. Harrison Bailey Green. Just through and his distance his distance eleven eighty one. Come on then. Focus. Yeah. It was twelve twenty four. This this one is better, it's thirteen eleven. Mark MacArthur ends the first round of the under 28 pound weight for distance. And he's thrown himself out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Mark Rice, a third throw there, thirteen fifty two. Not as good as his last one of thirteen eighty six. This is Neil Walker's effort. <laughs> Second attempt for Greg Hadley. 12 40 oh, is Neil's effort. And it, honestly, it makes a fantastic difference getting fired up and adrenaline's what it's called, you know. Well, let's get a big clap for it. Come on, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Boys, get it. I think he just likes your clapping. <laughs> Round of the competition. Many people ask about this kilt. You'll know the Shapreman and about wear the same kilt, the same tarp. This is the Commonwealth tarp for the Commonwealth Games, Scottish team in 1986. It's really the athlete's tarp. Come on then. Come on about. No bother. No bother. Look at that. That's a nice way of thank you. This is me getting seven feet. Yeah. Great favourite with Scottish cows. Uh, there's two folks here. I wonder if I can spot them in the crowd. Whenever Gregor Edmonds is here, give us a wave. Look at them. It's an older couple at the back there. Not that old, but they never miss a show all over Scotland. Go on, Gregor. Up we go. Yes, every time.
I could see him doing it. He was a last minute entry. But here he is. And it didn't come down. I'd hate to be as long as at the Premier Inn Hotel. All these dirty towels. They'll all go back, it'll be a little bit dirty. Come on, Harrison. Grant Sinclair, who was in the lead for a while, with a 1432. Slip out of his hand. 1469. Larry Brock. Harrison Bailey uh, is a wonderful thrower of the weight for height, and is not to say his own particular style, but Seth MacArthur on his final throw. Harrison popular Harrison, a different kind of throw. Here comes Larry Brock. There. He's capable of that, but he did back in the early 1800s. And strangely enough, this is the height that. Uh, Greg Hadley. That's a bit of a calamity. That's a calamity. Alright. 
but it's one of three and Kyle Randles with the Kaba. No, and he too goes up. Yeah, until the end of September. Is it a big price uh, 40 pounds. Five men going to the side. Each event. Each event. And... Okay, so just game money. Just game money. Grant Sinclair with the under 20s, Kaba. Yes, so so no, right. yeah. Nearly getting there, but not quite. Results are equal. Matt Sanford. Mark Sanford. Matt Sanford is one of the all time greats. And so is this man. So I'm sure that he's not. He has beaten Matt Sandler on several occasions, so he'll be doing it in memory tonight. Come on, Bob, we want the record. Go up! But this is only equaling the record, my man. Yeah, 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 he says. Oh, wow, I never thought that would happen. Oh, Matt will be... It was coming down slightly when it touched it. A very good friend of his, Matt Sanford, a great world champion. So when we heard about records in Inverness, people thought, well, this world championship, we should get a lot of records. We have had a lot of records, but we've had some great people here before. Come on then, Gregor, show them how. Come on, Gregor. Oh, don't believe this. Guess he did. Tell me about all them. Many people Lock just scare off to him. Strong guy. Mighty strong. And now we come to the end of the second round with Mark MacArthur. For the penultimate end of the round.
We're on to the third and final round of the cabin in the under 20s and Dale Walker just set us off on that. Here comes Greg Walker. And Dave Barnum, New York City. You too can do it. Still has one more, so several times. Yes, he's got it again. Many people do 16 feet at Inverness before. Come on, then, Larry Brock. Oh, you're miles in front of it. Miles. Very good for Gregor Edmonds if he can do this. He'll stand him in good stead in the competition. Come on, Gregor. The band a room 64 playing in five minutes time in the youth music tent. And he'll be at Bremar gathering again this year being filmed for television. Come on then, Kirlo Shoprinen! That's it. Yes! Come on now! 56 pounds, 70 feet. Oh! It was still travelling. I think that's all. Come on now, vote. Come on, no cliffhangers, do it this time. Yes, yes, come on. Go up out! All you've got. Up. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, didn't cross the bar. It went higher than the bar, but didn't cross it. Got earlier this season, 
with a great battle and both of them succeeded at this height. this year into that. It's a very covetous status because it includes all the famous footballers, boxers, golfers, everything. All the sports that Bill was chosen to go in this year. He's won this World Championships here. I think it was Australia he won them. And of course he was a world record in hammer throwing as well. For many, many years he held that record. The best they'd ever seen until Donald, from the time of Donald Dinney. Here's Virgil Sir throwing now. Back 
on Gregor Edmonds. Last chance to improve on the throw. Definitely up in his last throw. This at the band. Thank you once again for being so patient. Here comes Kilo Shapinan of Kiev taking his final throw. Tug of war going on on the other side. Big cheers for the crowd. Bruce Rob, he's one of the leaders in this, as you can see. It's very, very close between Gregor Edmonds and Bruce Rob. It looks as though Scotland might take first and second here. Here comes Harrison Bailey. slipped out of his hand. What a shame. You could hear it rasp out of his hand. He must have had some tacky on it. It just really rasped. You probably hear it in the grandstand there. In case you didn't know, Ryan Vieira was in the lead at the end of the first day and Greg Edmonds was just behind him, about five points behind. That again didn't seem to be quite the same delivery. We didn't slip out, but the angle seemed to be. This is the last throw of the competition. Go Hadley! The last throw of this competition. We still have another two events to go. The most spectacular two events still remaining. Oh dear. That's unexpected and disappointing because the last throw is Make sure you uh, stay well behind the barrier. Ryan Vieira is first to throw. Somebody just ran out there in front of the caber, my word. Brave man. Come on then, Ryan, you can do it. Come on then. Up, up it goes. And nope, it didn't turn, but we'll have a side judge.
Here I go. Hop, hop, hop. Goes over, it's far from straight, but at least. Here's Kilo Shaprinen. Up it goes and over it goes. Let's, let's see what score he gets. This is uh, probably the hardest cable in Scotland because it's both long and heavy. I'm still trying to get a weight for you. Well saved. Nope, we'll get a... How did you do, Greg? Eh, uh, one in the morning. I was... I feel a bit better, but I just threw it yesterday, got my toes, so the top is on there. Get out of the way, it, it inhibits a man if you see somebody in front of you. Here comes Greg Hadley from Canada. It's amazing to think Bruce Aiken, a very nice clean lift. Come on, Bruce. was high but
just slightly fell to the side. That's a better of his two throws. That's nearer to 12 o'clock than 2.15. Dave Barn is next to throw. Oh, just so close. So, uh, and Bruce Robb have done better than Gregor in both the throws. So let's see what Gregor does this time. Oh yes, he's got it over. Let's see what he gets for that one. Oh, it's got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Nicely, oh, it was looking like a 12. Oh, Harrison Bailey. run they might have to walk a little bit backwards because the cable cable holes might be in their way if they keep running Larry Brock up it goes and not quite I'd say that the Europeans have done a lot better than many people expected them to. But they again, every one of them deserve their place.
imagine, watch how they lift it. They've got to squeeze this thing in and lift it in a very difficult fashion to toss it in their hands. It's quite a feat, a feat of balance. Come on now, Scott. Let's have a good one. A good pull, is it? Come on. Oh, so near. So near. Bruce is a wonderful ride. Is then the reigning champion, Ryan Vieira, taking his final throw. It's a very, very, very close competition. So let's give Ryan some encouragement. He's given us great entertainment over the years. He's given us great entertainment here today. So Ryan Vieira making an all-out attempt to get into the ratings. We're turning it right over. Up it goes. Can he get it over? Over, over? No, just not. But a very big five degrees, five degrees off the vertical, nothing at all. Oh, Carrillo's, Carrillo is in the lead, I'm told. And Gregor is second. I've got something wrong there. Bout is in. Right. Bouts Ziltra in third place. Come on, Bout, you can pull up a bit, I'm sure. That's his stuff, he loves that. That's the thing. Come on, Bout, on your side. Come on, Bout. Come on now, come on. 12 o'clock. I haven't done one yet. Up, 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 up. No, hard lines. But he's given us great entertainment. Thank you, Vout Tiltra. Gregor Edmonds, final throw. Gregor Edmonds. Three. Oh, no, he has better. I said 12, not 9. Oh, a big hand. Well done. Come on, Kilo. Perfect throw. better one. Come on, Bruce. Oh, here you go. Come on, Bruce. Come back, all 
is forgiven. <laughs> Nearly at 12, he's trying to build up the momentum. Harrison. Uh, good man. One. The keeper's now getting very, very slippy. That's it. No. It's very, very hard. Here comes Larry Brock. Yes, so far, 75 degrees. Come on, up it goes. And that's better than his last one. Big build up now. Oh, oh. Very difficult. He's good. Greg Hardy of Canada, making his final attempt. Come on, Greg, you've done well this weekend. This is the youngest competitor. He could have been... Com Come on now, Scott. Good lad, lovely speed. Come on now, big pull! Pull, pull, pull! No, he's got a better one. Last roll, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Bruce Aiken. World champion of 2004. Hardline, Bruce. It's blood, so it's going to be one of the biggest parties we've ever had in Scotland. and. Uh... It's going to be quite memorable. So what we're going to have on the third weekend of July, we're going to have the Masters World Championships in Inverness. And then there's going to be a special international Highland Games featuring the World Championships down in Edinburgh. And uh, I'm pleased to announce that uh, the boys from Inverness have been asked to go down and, all, and look after the grounds and look after everything. So they're taking down a world-class team for the next World Championships in Scotland. So uh, my great thanks to all the guys, and uh, yeah, they are really good. And Jerry, I'd like to thank my co-commentator, John Watt, who was out in the field there all afternoon yesterday and after today, and has yeah. blue knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah John, thanks very much, mate. And behind in the stand, there's a, a big team of folks. Um, Fiona Duncanson, all the people on the gates. I mean, uh, it is the World Championships, and I think you'll agree. They've done a magic job for all of us, so uh, we're really grateful to all of you over there. We're all going over there very shortly uh, to see Blazing Phillips at concert. And that's what's known as filling. <laughs> and of course, thanks to our convener of the Games Committee, Mr Angus Dick, who has been instrumental in keeping everything together and arranging everything along with Jerry. Angus is sitting behind us in the stand. He's a quiet fellow normally. And a former PE teacher. They always Thank you very best. much, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the score now, and we can get the presentation of medals, etc. We have our chieftain here. Get under here. <laughs> Scott, let's have a shot on it. You must smile. <laughs> How many pixels has Scott megapixels? Ladies and gentlemen, in third place, Larry Brock.
of the United States of America. 39 points. Fast improving young American. In second place, five times champion of the world, Ryan Vieira, United States of America. And they're getting a bottle of whiskey too. Oh wow. Tomatin. Tomatin. Ah, not just whiskey, it's tomatin. And the winner. And the winner is Gregor Edmonds of Scotland. <laughs> Up you go on the rostrum, Gregor. And he gets a, I don't know why they should give the men a 12 one and give him an old one of 25 year old. He gets a 25-year-old bottle of tomato and single malt. Ladies and gentlemen, the World Championship, the 28th World Championship of 2007, and a win for Scotland after all those times. We also have the champion sword and shield to come forward for Gregor Edmonds. That's the champion sword and shield according to tradition. And we have one final one here. I'd like to bring forward, there are two people who have contributed this new sash, a wonderful new sash. We have Lynn Bowen Richardson from Canada and Anthony Laurie from Switzerland who sponsored this new sash. And we ask uh, Lynn Bowen Richardson to present the sash to our new champion. Gregor just down for a minute so you can put the sash over your head and it's got all the winners from the past years 20 28 years and it has to be bigger to go over like these big broad shoulders there you are the new champion sash that'll be fine thank you there we go thank you then Paul and Richardson and for Anthony Lordy for the work you're doing that and there's Gregor lovely pictures for you And gentlemen, we ask you to come forward now one by one, leave your hands free, stick your flags behind you, that's fine. And if you could come forward one by one, we'll call for Sean Betts. Sean Betts of America. Dave Barn, United States of America. Pugzil Trob from Scotland. Bruce Robb actually placed fourth, fifth in the competition. We have also over there Kivlo Shaprinen from the Ukraine. He was fourth man in the competition. Bruce Aiken from Scotland. He can appreciate a proper good Scot. Bruce Aiken. Harrison Bailey from the United States of America. Greg Hadley from Canada. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes the lineup. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful World Championship. We thank the Highland and Inverness Council and the Highland Year of Council event Scotland. Everybody has contributed to this. And I'd like a special round of applause for Jerry Reynolds, who is a man at the sharp end of the pencil for the local authority. Thank you very much for all your help, Jerry. And of course, our chairman. Oh, I can be in the photograph too. Great stuff. I'd love to be in this with a bunch of hooligans. Yes. Of course, we must have the chieftain. I just tell Jerry, come on in, Jerry. We need every of you as you want. It'll hardly cost you anything. You've got in for nothing into the arena, but you've got to pay to get out of it. The World Championships 2007, Telex City of the Nice Island Games. What a picture that will be to take home to your countries. It's one of the strongest men in the world, and Jerry Reynolds.